Hey guys, this is Dr. Sandy with your weekly health tip. I wanted to address a question. Had a patient, and I, I get this on occasion where um, they showed up after a long time, and we are just, hey, good to see you, and we were like, you know, how are you doing, and their response was, well, obviously I'm not doing well if I'm here, and I really wanted to address that issue. So what we're doing in this office, obviously we want to help as many people as possible, but the real mission is yes, when someone is uh, in pain, uh, of course we want to improve that, um, and this had been a patient who had been coming, but uh, who only will show up when it's crisis care. Uh, we have some patients who only show up when they're falling apart, when they're in incredible pain. Uh, it's been several weeks, several months, sometimes several years before they come back. And what I'm here to share with you is that is not the mission of the office. Obviously, we'll help them, we'll get them through it, but what we want to do is actually teach people not to go from crisis to crisis. Uh, it's a very painful way to live. It's a dangerous way to live. You're waiting for a breakdown in the body until it doesn't work right. You usually go for some medication, which may have side effects, and it's just not a help. It doesn't make any sense. That's like, you know, financially, if you're saying, you know, once I get financially bankrupt, then I'll start worrying about my finances. Oh, I'm doing good again, and then wait for the next next bankruptcy. It makes no sense. It's a very bad way to live. Uh, hard on the body, definitely robs you of quality of life. A simpler way to live is taking care of your body on a regular basis. That's what this office stands for. Of course, when people first come to us, we'll educate them on that principle. But once they've been exposed to it, and I mean, we're here to support them, but man, why would you live your life in crisis? And what I've seen in my life too is that it actually will spill into other parts of your life. Once you understand that concept of maintenance, once you understand that concept of taking care of your body on a regular basis, you start to look at your nutrition different, you start to look at your relationships differently, your finance, you just, it's really um, an overall, it's a principle, it's a principle, it's a way to live and manage your life, not waiting for crisis, but being proactive, being on the edge and saying, I'm going to take care of myself before something happens, and it's a beautiful way to live, it's a simple way to live, um, and that's what this office represents, and we want to break that cycle from crisis to crisis, so please uh, apply that to your own life. And you know what, a beautiful analogy, there's a, a gentleman I really respect, Dr. C.J. Merson. He used this beautiful analogy where he said, if you think about it, people come to us with a swimming pool that's really filthy and dirty. They go through chiropractic care, we make lifestyle changes, and then the pool is Christy, it's, it's awesome, it's so nice, you can jump in. And then after that, if you don't maintain it, which means occasionally cleaning it again, the pool is just going to get dirty again. And I thought that was a beautiful analogy and why we need to maintain ourselves. You know, something like our phones, you really don't need to maintain them. They're machines. But any living organisms, organisms need to be maintained. Uh, and the most essential part of that is the spine. So keep that in mind. The other thing I wanted to share with you too, another friend of mine, Dr. Dan Yacker, a man I really respect. Uh, I was reading one of his health articles and I thought it was such a powerful thing I wanted to share with you is that if you think about it now as we go into holiday mode, Really, there's like Christmas, there's New Year's, and but for some people, even though it's two days where you know you can kind of cheat, eat whatever you want, mentally for a lot of people when December comes, they kind of let loose for the whole month, if not spilling into January. Uh, they're eating wrong, all their routines fall apart, not exercising, not keeping their chiropractic adjustment schedule, uh, which makes no sense. So obviously you should enjoy yourself, you should celebrate this time, it's time for family and friends more than anything, but do not break those routines. Maybe you can take a few days off and enjoy, but you should be consistent. You should be um, taking care of yourself. Sure, have a few days to relax. Maybe, you know, have some food that is fun. But at the same time, it doesn't mean because of two days we trash, you know, the next month, month and a half. So be aware of that. And in closing, uh, of course, if you are uh, hearing this information, uh, we are having the big celebration coming up. Uh, December 17th, 12 to 2 at the Novotel. Uh, it's going to be a brunch. We're going to celebrate, hang out, celebrate chiropractic, celebrate our incredible patients, all of the miracles we've seen this year. So again, we'd love to see you there. I believe the reservations are closing up, but if you're, you're still interested, just give us a call. Uh, we're going to have a great response. We have huge numbers. If you still want to come, let us know. And uh, also, next week we're having a presentation called Power Goals. First time we've ever done this, I'm going to put together a presentation on how you can goal set for the next year, uh, relationship-wise, health-wise, financial, things you can start to do to set goals for the next year, uh, to take your life to the next level. We've never done this before, but I want to give a gift to my patients to make sure that 2012 is the best year they've ever had in their lives. And always, again, um, you know, we were just looking at where people are coming from. I'm so happy to say that easily 70 to 80 percent of people walking in our office are now through a referral, which is a huge honor and a blessing. 
Uh, we're growing, we're seeing a lot of people, but we still would always ask, and every time you come here and every time I make a video, I'm going to ask, please share that miracle, especially if you've gone through care and you love the process, you've seen some life changes, uh, tell your friends about chiropractic, tell them about our office, we're here for them, we're here to serve, and uh, we want to make sure they also have an incredible 2012. So thank you again, and uh, God bless.